Hello everybody, and welcome back to Erlog Plays Null Pomino. So, I've made some changes here a little bit to my settings in the game. So, I think I was having some frame rate issues, and because the controls are processed on a per frame basis, some of the frame issues that I was having uh, meant that the control was not as precise as it could have been. Now, I know that these sound like excuses, and they are excuses. Uh, however, uh, maybe it'll have an impact. And if it can be better, why not make it better? So, I uh, played with some settings and it seems to be a lot better. Uh, the other thing that I did was I have practiced a little bit off camera. Now. I know that I said at the beginning of the series that I was going to try not to practice off camera, but you know, sometimes you just you want to play more Tetris, and uh, I like to play Tetris and relax while I watch YouTube videos of Let's Plays, most recently of uh, mostly of Bloodborne, because uh, I'm still into that game quite a bit. Uh, so I've, I've been practicing a bit more, and uh, I've been practicing on a separate save file, so my my high score list on this is still clean for my progress in just the YouTube series. So um, you're not going to be able to see any of that here, but I, I got over 300, maybe one or two more times, and I got to the high 200s a few more times too and uh so i should be doing a little bit better today hopefully and uh showing some of that sweet sweet progress um one of the other things that i did was i read a little bit more about tetris stacking strategies specifically i read an interesting thing about the t pieces and how you should generally try to stack them so you end up with uh, a f a f as flat of a stack as possible. Your stack shouldn't be too too bumpy. And so the role that T pieces can play is that they can fill holes in a way that makes your stack more flat. Now, your stack will always be a little bit bumpy, and having a completely flat stack is usually not too big of a problem. So in general, if you try to use the T pieces so that they're as flat as possible when you place them, uh, you'll generally be in pretty good shape in most Tetris games, but not every Tetris game, because of the different rotation systems can make different moves either possible or impossible. So, uh, But I think for, in a, in a general sense, uh, that kind of strategy will be good for me going forward uh, with this specific variant of Tetris, which is uh, Tetris the Grandmaster 2 Master Mode. The So... Um, that's what I've been doing in the past day since you last saw a video. Uh, so yeah, some some bad stacking, and this is kind of this is kind of warm up. And I had to do a bunch of talking here to explain some things. So probably not doing as good as I as you know as I possibly could. So uh, so here we go. Yeah, see, I I was trying to find figure out a way to get that to be as flat as possible, but just didn't work out. But I think I, I uh, did okay anyway. So above 200, even though this is warm up. So there we go, using that T piece the way that I talked about. Successful execution of strategies. And I'm looking at that next piece and uh, trying to figure out where things go better. And uh, looking pretty all right. There. And that's pretty clean. It's getting really fast now. Ah! And there we go, that's my first huge mistake. I think of the game. I made other smaller mistakes, but that one was real messy. There we go. That that move there was completely by accident. That should not be as flat as it is on the 
right side there. That that save was also by accident, and I might I might break 300 this video if I can. Man, those long pieces. Man, when your stack gets higher, it is so hard to to get them to go where you want to go. Like that. Yes, right there. That is exactly. That is a great example of you know where it should go, and it's just it's. And you gotta use the, the movement buffering to, to do that, or it won't work. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna be able to get another line to break 300. Yep, couldn't do it. But 299 for a first warm up run is not bad. Um, so here we go, let's go again. So the rule that I am breaking today is that I am playing a bit more tired than yesterday. So. Right now it is, uh, it's after midnight, and I had evening classes today, so, uh, thankfully I got enough sleep last night, so I should, I'm not feeling especially crazy tired, but, you know, I'm feeling it. I should be in bed right now. I shouldn't be playing Tetris for the internet, so. Okay. Put that there, I'll be able to clean that up easy. Like that. And here we go. Stack in those T pieces so that you're you're uh, you're fixing the holes in your stack. There. And not Man, that's ugly. I don't like that. I wish that didn't look like that. There we go. See, now I left myself in a position where I need I need a long piece uh, to be able to fix that mess there. And that's a that's a place I don't. Yep. Then I mess myself up again, and, uh, and then I got the long piece, you know, right when I needed it. But I had already messed up the stack, so it, I couldn't put it where I wanted to put it. Um, so I just hope this doesn't, you know, cascade. And again, I did the same thing. I do this thing where it's like, I try to plan for the future, and then it's like, it's like, oh, I'll be able to clean that up before the long piece comes. And I don't pay attention to the fact that the way that the randomizer works in this game is that if it's been, a, you know, five pieces or so, or six pieces or so, since you've seen that kind of piece last, then you're more likely to get it. So it uses a, a variant of the seven bag system, where it tries to, where it has a bag of all of the seven types of pieces, <clears throat> and then it, it tries to kind of give you all of them. Uh, and generally, if it, it is, there is a random element to it where if it comes up with a piece before it should, then the randomizer will try to, uh, We'll, we'll randomize one more time to see if it, if it can get a new piece. Yeah, so I stacked too high, and I wasn't able to uh, move that long piece over to get that Tetris to make the stack go down. So, yeah, only 144 that time. Okay, and let's let's do this again. Let's let's keep this rolling. Yeah, so that seven bag system means that the pieces are not just truly random. There's a, you can, if you, once you know how the system works, you can anticipate kind of when you are going to get a piece, a type of piece next. And it, it makes for an interesting kind of meta, or not meta strategy, because it is a strategy in the game, but it makes for an interesting kind of strategy in how you manage your pieces because you have some knowledge of what your pieces are kind of going to be over the near term and you and you know for sure that you know on average you're going to get the set of seven pieces generally in a different order each time but you'll, you'll you will generally get you know each one in the set before getting uh, duplicates. You still might get duplicates, but uh, 
less often, at about half the rate that true random would give you. So yeah, it's kind of it's definitely hard to explain, especially while playing the game. But if you if you look on either of the Tetris wikis, you know, on Hard Drop or Tetris Concept, it explains it really well. There we go, I'm pretty happy with that. Clean up a little bit. Alright, clean. Yep, that was getting a bit too high and then I messed up that drop right there. Let's see if I can fix this. That's not the way to fix it. Man, that's some poor Tetrising. Looking a little bit cleaner, but still not where I want it to be. Oh, okay. I rotated, for that T piece, I rotated one too far. I could have made it a bit more clean. That's not what I wanted to do with that long piece at all. Uh, just fallen victim to the speed. And now it's getting so high that I'm going to have a lot of trouble soon. Ah, okay. I was able to get that long piece where I wanted it. Ah, couldn't do it. I think what happens sometimes is I try to play, I try to use the buffering of the commands while, before the piece comes out, and I hit the button twice instead of just once because I don't know when that buffer starts reading after a piece has dropped. And w what happens is it, it does process the movement, but especially on those long pieces, because they only have two rotations, if you hit it twice, it's going to go back to the original way that it was, and then you don't have time to rotate it back in such little space before um, it, it hits and then locks. Or it'll, it'll hit the, the bricks that are in the playfield, but then um, you don't have any room to kick it so that you can... So you can get it where you want it. Okay, put myself in a position where I do need. Uh, that's a two. That's a hole. That's two. That's uh, two bricks deep or two tiles deep, and that's a bad place to be in. And I created a hole that's three tiles deep, and that's an even worse place to be in because now to get that Tetris. I need two long pieces and, you know, if you remember what I said about the way that the randomizer for the pieces works, I'm not as likely to get, I'm definitely not very likely to get two long pieces in a row. So that means that I kind of screwed myself over in the short term for doing that properly. So let's see if I can break 300 in this video. That'd be a nice thing. If I can, you know, goals for videos, if I can break 300 at least once in each video from now on. And then, you know, in the future we'll talk about, you know, breaking 400 for the first time. And then, you know, getting 400 at least once in each video and then getting, you know, 400 on average, and then breaking 500, and we'll just keep working our way up through the 100-piece barriers. Did the exact opposite of what I needed to do 
with that T piece before. I wanted to stack it so it was flat, and then it just didn't happen. It was a bad thing with that L-shaped piece. Oh, that was such, that was the worst placement for that long piece. I really wanted to clear the line, and in doing so, I just I messed everything up. Because now I need another L piece. Oh, that's the worst. That's the worst. I'm the worst player. I'm the worst Tetris player. Oh. Oh, God. I really should, uh, you know, add some links to some better Tetris players to my channel so that, you know, after you guys can take the, uh, the Silkwood shower afterward and see some proper play because, ah, uh, you know, after... After this kind of Tetris play, I feel like you might need to take a shower. Because my Tetris is just so dirty. Oh, that is the worst stack. Oh, that stack is terrible. Oh, man. This is... Alright, I can, I can clear it up. That's going to create a too deep hole, but not going to give me a place to put... Yeah, that... I kind of had to leave a hole somewhere, so... And I don't want to stack a lot over that empty space, because I need to be able to clean that up easy later. Two deep hole, it's no problem because the next piece was one that could fill that. Okay. That's another two deep hole. All right, I'm gonna take it. I could have gone for the Tetris, but I'm a little, feeling a little bit gun shy. Okay, there I'm gonna build the Tetris. Make that flat, yeah. Okay, there we go. That's much flatter than I would have been able to strategize in the first video, at least. Not as flat as I would like, but stacks low, so. Oh God, that was, that's first giant mistake. See if I can fill this a bit, clear it up. didn't want to put that there, but because it makes it harder to clean up the stack later. But I didn't know where to put it. The stack's getting a little bit uglier, but I'm approaching 200. using left rotation more, and that's good. Definitely not something I was doing really at all in the first video. Oh, no. Oh, man, it's always bad when you put an L piece in, or not an L piece, but a long piece in, and you don't get any lines on it. It's just like... All of these lines are just too messed up 
for you to complete them so you don't get it. You just... Just like you got, you know, you got four lines of garbage you gotta clear before you can do anything else. And especially rough around 200 because you know that when you hit 200 the speed's gonna slow down again and you're like if I can just get to 200 I can I can feel safe for just you know 30 seconds oh no oh no oh god oh no I got it I'm done 256 not you know not awful I got the ST there too. All right. So you'll see sometimes some some grades at the bottom of the screen under the time. That's the grade system from Tetris the Grandmaster 2. Um, before my next video, uh, I think tomorrow I will read a bit about that system so I can explain it to you uh, on camera so that you can uh, so you can maybe notice some progress sometimes on getting those little medals there. Sort of like achievements within a game of Tetris. So that's, I don't like that. If I get a T piece, I can fix that a bit. Yep, okay. Put that there. So not the greatest, because I left myself in a situation where I need um, a T piece or a zigzaggy piece. And you can tell I'm a Tetris master because I use terms like zigzaggy pieces. And I've never said the words J piece in these episodes yet. Because in uh, Tetris lingo, all of these pieces have names. And the opposite L piece is called a J piece. But I don't use the correct terms. Because I don't know which one is which. Like I know what an... Obviously, I know what an L and a J are, but... Um, I can't tell you while playing which one looks like an L and which one looks like a J. Because they just seem like, you know, arbitrary shapes to me. I didn't want to put that long piece there, but I wanted to attempt to clean up the stack by getting the line, and I need to think about those situations a bit more. I left myself needing only two kinds of pieces there. That's bad. You want to stack in such a way that you can kind of fit as many pieces as possible. Or that there are as many that there are uh, places for as many kinds of pieces as possible. You never want to just rely on one piece unless it's your designated hole for building towards a Tetris. Every other place on the board should be able to accept multiple kinds of pieces. the exact wrong kind of piece for that situation. I tried to do things with that piece it just wasn't meant to do. Okay, let's take the line. This is pretty bad. There's a bunch of there's a whole bunch of garbage there and I need to clear it before the speed gets fast again. But I just, I feel like I'm not getting the pieces to do it. And I'm creating more garbage for myself. 
because I'm dumb and I don't know how to play Tetris. Oh, like that is a great example. Uh, all the all of these are great examples of how not to play Tetris. I, that's what I should rename this video series. Erlog shows you how not to play Tetris. All right, two two forty seven, so close to two fifty again. So I feel like I am being a bit more consistent. Less scores below two hundred, more scores above two twenty five. Um, let's try to get a score in the top ten. And uh, maybe this will be the second to last, or, the, or maybe even the last run, depending on how I do. I'm going to take a, a drink of my beverage here, so just a moment. Okay, let's get back to it. Man, these videos just, just fly by. Maybe not for you get watching at home. Uh, depending on what your opinion of these videos is, but uh, for me, I can kill a lot of time playing Tetris. And I did, you know, in my childhood with the Game Boy Tetris. I, I killed a lot of time with that game. A lot of fond memories. Now this is, you know, this is serious. This is adult Tetris. You know, not adult as in uh, not work safe adult, but you know, the kind of Tetris where you play it and you think this game is garbage when you first play it. Kind of like when you first drink beer or something, or have a cigar. But then later on, because you're an adult, you're like, that thing was bad, but I need more of it. And that's what this... That's what Tetris the Grandmaster 2 is. It's like, oh, that Tetris made me feel awful, but I need more of it. Where do I put this? Oh, this is the worst. But I, I took my time there. I noticed when I was in a bad situation, and I, I took some time, because I was at a slow level, um, to make a decision. And I feel like I made a much better decision than I would have in my first video. I'm getting in these situations, especially sort of um, you know, what what is very, very early game in the grand scheme of what this is, but for me is sort of, um, early mid game where I'm, my, my stack looks kind of bad, but then I am able to clean up the garbage a bit and then make it look a lot better and pull it out. Oh, this is that's an ugly stack. That's a that's a terrible stack. I got lucky enough to be able to. Oh, uh, oh no, that's. I thought that was a different piece. I wasn't. I didn't read the next piece properly. Now I got holes in the stack. Oh no. Wow, that was a bad button press. That was not the frame rate. I will admit that. Oh, oh man. I am very happy with myself for uh, salvaging that shape. Get those Tetrises. Alright, it got slow again, so I can I can think a bit about how I want to mess up my stack. Oh no. My screensaver. Alright. Alright. So I got the ST metal at the bottom.
Oh no, that was a big mistake. Man, that screensaver thing. Pro YouTube video making. You know, whenever you're watching Northern Line, he's always got those times where it's like, oh, sorry, bro. I my, went to my screensaver. 270. I can't leave it like that. I gotta try to get above 300. So, all right, one last one. I did get on the on the top 10, though, 271. So, you know... We did what I said I wanted to do, so, and then we'll try to get my second goal of, of above 300 for this video, so let's, let's do this. Oh, 2D pole. Let's salvage that, salvage that, good, good, very nice, clean. Messed it up, but I got out clean. It's gonna create a too deep hole, but I think it's the least bad option there. Oh God, oh no, I, oh no. That was bad play with the fingers. Let's see what I can do. If I can just hold on. You know, like that Sarah McLaughlin song says. I gotta hold on, because this is gonna hurt like hell. So I created a 2D pole, but it was okay because I looked at the next piece and I saw that I needed, I had a piece to fill that immediately, so. So controlled Tetrising. Gotta have a plan. Let's see, right there, didn't have a plan. I probably, I will get a long piece soon, yep, obviously. I gotta... I know what I'm doing it, I just gotta prevent myself from doing it and make a better play. Just, I just, same thing again, same thing again, it's the worst. Oh no. Oh god, that's way too bumpy. That's way too bumpy. Alright. Alright, I failed on purpose there because I don't want to waste my time and I don't want this video to be too long, so this is definitely going to be the last one. If I fail here, I fail, and them's the breaks. Um, you know, that's, that's why I do this series. It's because I do fail. You load up the video, and you don't you don't know exactly how well I'm going to do. You know I'm going to do poorly. You don't know exactly how poorly. And that's what makes this interesting. You can load up one of those master YouTube videos, and you know exactly what's going to happen. You know they're going to play Tetris real well. And you know, like, oh, I could never do that. But, like, you can watch my video and be like, you know what? I feel like I could do that. You can feel better about yourself. And, uh, you know, that's what I want to do in life, is just make people feel better about themselves. So, you know, lead by negative example.
That's real bad. I need, yeah, I need a 2D pole. And I need two long pieces, three long pieces to salvage it. <laughs> yep, putting that long piece down and only getting one line. Ah, three lines off that long piece. Okay. That's what salvaging looks like. You know, fifth row is the new bottom row. That's what I say. I'm just, you know, I'm, you know, I'm just stacking poorly because I want to play closer to the top. I want to have less time to move my pieces because I want to train for the late game. You know, it's like a batting donut. Oh no, 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 that was gonna save me. That was gonna save me. That was gonna be the thing. And then I messed it up. I, mis I messed up the execution. a lot and I get panicked and my solution is just keep rotating just keep rotating and it never it, it well I, I shouldn't say it never works out but it rarely if ever works out so now I gotta clean up before a gotta clean up before mom comes home and B um, I gotta clean up before it gets fast again this video is getting real long. I'm real sorry. Oh, that's terrible. That's so bad. That's the worst. I think instead of two line combos. I think I'm gonna start calling them half Tetrises. You know, make myself feel not as bad about not getting the Tetris where I should. Oh, these pieces are fast now. Oh god. And that's some, you know, that's some pro level commentary right there. No, you know, no other person on YouTube would be able to tell you, oh, these pieces are fast. It's a value I bring to my channel. Thought I was gonna get lines there. Thought I was gonna get lines there. 299. Oh man. So again, you know, top ten, top five, and even top three. And so it didn't break three hundred, but there's a lot of two ninety nines in the top ten now, so um so yeah, thanks for watching. I'm glad that people are staying with me, glad that people are finding the series. Uh this is I will admit this video is too long and I will I will try to cap them to 30 minutes, 32, 33 minutes maximum so that um, it's not crazy like this again. But or if you like long Tetris videos, you know, let me know in the comments. I can always do that. Um, OK, uh, everybody, happy Tetrising and uh, goodbye.